Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, I will cover robot anatomy, serial and parallel manipulators, and work volume. Study of structures of organisms and their parts is known as anatomy. The mechanical structure of a robot is very similar to the human skeleton. Thus, the study of the skeleton of a robot is known as robot anatomy. In the mechanical structure of a robot, there are four main components. Number one is links, that is the rigid bodies. Second is joints that connect the two rigid bodies or links together. Third one is wrist that is used to orient the end effector. And fourth is the end effector itself that performs the required, required task like it can be grippers or uh, it can be a platform etc. So a simple manipulator is shown over here. It has a base, shoulder joint, elbow joint and wrist. At the end of this wrist there is an end effector. It can be a gripper. It can be a welding gun, etc. So let us study the links in detail. As already discussed, links are the rigid bodies. These rigid bodies are joined together to make the structure of a manipulator. This structure in core mechanical terms is known as a mechanism. Links help in transmission of motion from one part to the another. On the basis of the number of nodes, the links can be classified as binary links, ternary links, quaternary links, and so on. Binary links are those that have two nodes that is the links that can be connected to two other links. Similarly, ternary are those that can be connected to three other links and quaternary to four other links and so on as shown here in the diagram. A point to be noted over here is that the binary links are represented by a straight line. Now there is an another term kinematic chain. A kinematic chain is the assembly of links or rigid bodies connected by joints to provide the desired motion. A simple kinematic chain is shown over here. This kinematic chain has three links that is A, B and C connected together by the joints B and C. So uh, this chain is the assembly of the rigid bodies. Now let us understand the second part of the manipulator structure that is the joints. Many types of joints can be formed between the two links. At a joint, links are attached such that they can move relative to one another. In industrial automation, only two types of joints are important. That is the revolute joint and prismatic joint. In revolute joint, two links are connected by a pin and about axis of this pin, these two joints can rotate with respect to one another as shown in the diagram. The second one is prismatic joint. The prismatic joint, two links are connected in such a way that they can slide with respect to one another as shown again in the diagram. A manipulator diagram is shown over here with two revolute joints and one prismatic joint or sliding joint. Prismatic joint in, is also known as the sliding joint. Moving further, the manipulator can be of two types, serial manipulator and parallel manipulator. In a serial manipulator, several linkages are connected like a chain to get the desired motion to its end effector. It is shown here in the diagram. The serial manipulator is of open loop type. The end effector of a serial manipulator can be a gripper, can be a welding torch, etc. It is used for the gross motion, not for very precise motion. That is not suitable for very precise motion. The second one is the parallel manipulator. In a parallel manipulator, several serial chains are used to control a single platform. It is of closed loop type. The end effector here is a platform to which several things can be attached. This is used for very precise positioning. Okay, this is simple and easy to understand. So before moving to the next topic, you need to understand three terms. First one is workspace. In the diagram, you can see that the end effector can move within the cylinder. This cylinder is the workspace of the manipulator. The corresponding volume of the cylinder is known as the work volume and the surface of this cylindrical workspace describes the work envelope. So that was all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will study about robot configuration, degrees of freedom and end effector. If you are enjoying the course, please hit the subscribe button so that you can receive the updates for latest videos.